Good morning from Stromness. It's our last day here today. We've checked out of our Airbnb. We were supposed to be heading to the mainland today because uh, the, actually, the Northlink ferry actually goes from here on, on, onto the mainland. But um, as we were saying the other day, we, we've, uh, we've actually canceled that. And we're gonna head back to Kirkwall because there was just, it was quite a big town and we wanna explore it a bit better. So we're heading back today. We're gonna jump on the bus. Before then, do you remember Julia's cafe from the other day? It's finally open. So we've got an hour till the bus. We're gonna sit here, have our breakfast and then onwards to Kirkwall. It's another crazy windy day. We're kind of glad we managed to stay another couple of days so we don't have to take the boat in this weather. So yeah, trying the famously recommended bacon roll from Julia's Cafe. You can't go wrong with a decent egg and bacon roll. Love it. Bye bye to Stromness. are actually amazing here in Orkney. We've never been more than an hour away from anywhere we want to go. Super reliable, super good. It's worth using if you're here. Anyway, we're here in Kirkwall now, so we're gonna go and try and find the Airbnb. It's another windy day today. It doesn't matter where you are on the island. If it's a windy day, it's windy. Whether you're by the coast or whether you're inland. Yeah, I need to get a hairnet or something. Indian takeaway located. That'll be our backup if we can't find any authentic Scottish food. God, it is so freezing today. Arctic. Happy Haddock fish and chips. We'll definitely be getting a portion of fish and chips at some point, that's for sure. And we've made it. Nice to be indoor. I love the houses in the in these aisles. They're all like wood features and furniture. It's so pretty. Let's have a look around. Oh, super spacious. Look at this. So big. Super nice. Cupboard. Let's find our rooms. What's up here? Oh, this is so cute! <laughs> oh, another room in here is massive. Nice. Okay, not much of a travel day. It was only half hour on the bus, but we're in the middle of Kirkwall now. We're gonna take the afternoon because the weather is a bit punishing right now. It's so cold, so windy. So we're gonna take the afternoon to relax, get some more videos edited. But yeah, happy, success. Big, clean place, perfect. So we see you a bit later. So the sun's set. Here in Kirkwall, we're settled in. We've got empty stomachs, so we're gonna hit the road, have a look around, see if we can find a nice pub or restaurant and get a well-earned hot meal. Let's go. So we're on our way to get food, but we had to take a detour. This is just absolutely beautiful. This cathedral behind us, the way it's lit up and it's deadly silent around here, which is, is a little bit eerie, but it's so nice to set the scene with the lights. Beautiful town. So good to finally get a hot meal.
after three day on Orkney, we finally had a solid hot meal in a restaurant and it was fantastic. So we're gonna head back now, relax, walk off the food and see what Kirkwall has to offer tomorrow. Good morning. It's our first full day in Kirkwall. After that massive meal last night, we're out and about having a walk, seeing what sights there are to see. So yeah, no real plan today. Let's see what Kirkwall's got to offer. Also, just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that's watching. We're only a few videos in. It's been so long since we've done videos and the response has been great. We're really enjoying doing it. So if you're enjoying these videos, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. It really helps us to keep doing this and keep, keep creating content. So we discovered that Kirkwall is a pretty old town. Back in the day, it belonged to Norway and uh, these town roots are very, very old. The cathedral itself was built uh, about 900 years ago, but the town is even older. The name Kirkwall comes from the old Norse word for church, Kirk. So lots of history to explore here. So the first point of call is pretty close. It's just next to the cathedral. If you watched our other video, which we'll put on the screen now. Yeah, it was just on the other side of the cathedral and we didn't get to see it last time. It's called the Bishop's Palace. Obviously it's ruins now, but uh, yeah, we're gonna go and explore that. So I've got to say, I'm surprised. I thought when we saw it from the cathedral grounds that it was a, a small little ruin, but it's actually massive really pretty and the gardens here are kept absolutely beautifully it's really kept well so we entered the grounds of the earl's palace but this was actually built after in the 1600 so maybe we pop into the bishop's palace first so the bishop's palace is just on the other side of the street just on this side let's go and see if we can enter or if it's just from the outside let's see how this works so it's we thought we need the tickets to enter and unfortunately the kiosk is closed well, at least the grounds of the palace is open, so let's see how much of it we can explore. It's a shame it's closed, but you can still walk around, which is really nice. And just imagine being in the year 1000 or like in the 1600 when they built this one, just standing in this area with like that view in the background with the huge cathedral such an architectural monument for the time impressive for an interesting um, book recommendation for an interesting piece of history and how complex and uh, intricate it was to build uh, cathedrals in england or in the uk around that time check out pillars of the earth from Ken Follett. really good book it looks like you can actually enter the palace there's plaques all over and uh, yeah you can uh, reach the different the different levels what a shame this is only open in the summer but let's go and check out the cathedral we briefly checked the cathedral uh, the other time in our previous video but i just popped in quickly and uh, took just a small peek of what's inside um but reading online apparently you are welcoming there should be like a map or something that will uh, guide you through they will guide you through the main areas so let's quickly see what that's like Wow, what a place. 
it's always difficult to catch on a small camera like a GoPro, you know, the vastness of a big cathedral like that. The history there is incredible. But yeah, amazing place. So we're gonna head on, carry on our trail, see if we can find something new, maybe stop for a coffee somewhere. But so far, Kirk calls a win. safely say that everything's open even off season during the day I think last night being a Sunday night and the weather that we had was a bit of a ghost town but rest assured you're gonna be fine during the day even off season we found this really cute local store they sell uh, a lot of local products as well as like international products very interesting so I'm not a whiskey or a gin drinker but the selection in here is incredible if you're into whiskey, this is the place to come. So they've been super helpful in here, showed us through all the local cheeses. There's such a great selection, there's a ton. No blue cheeses, unfortunately, locally. I did see a Hebridean blue, so we'll get that, along with a bunch of others. Tonight is definitely gonna be cheese night. Chili jam. What was this? So we just left uh, the shop, it's called the Brig Larder. If you are in Kirkwall, definitely check that one out. For our experience in uh, the Orkney Islands so far, we know that they have a lot of local products, but honestly, walking in that shop, incredible, so many local products. Tonight we're gonna have uh, cheese and biscuits. So we've ended up back on the waterfront. Um, there's a load of hotels along here that all have quite nice restaurants. So if you're ever in doubt, just head to the waterfront. You're gonna find somewhere to eat. We're gonna head into uh, the Kirkwall Hotel. We saw it last night. It looked quite nice. So yeah, let's go and see what the food's like. Oh, successful lunch. That was great. Highly recommended. It was pretty cheap as well for drinks and food. £35 for lunch. It's not too bad in this economy. Definitely recommended. So we're gonna have a little walk down to the old harbour and then that's gonna be us for the day. We're gonna need to walk off this food ready for the cheese and biscuits later tonight. Very good. Well, that's day one in Kirkwall done. Found a hot meal, We've checked out some of the history. And now we're gonna sample some of the local cheese. As always, if you're enjoying our videos, every like and subscribe really helps us to continue making content. We've still got a couple of days left here in Kirkwall and we've got a few sites that we wanna see. So stay tuned for the next video, which will be up soon.